வணக்கம் நண்பர்களே ஸோ இன்றைக்கி பார்த்திங்கன்னா நம்ம கிளாசிக்கல் ஃபிசிக்ஸில் யூனிட் த்ரீ பார்ட் டூ தான் பார்க்க போகிறோம் ஸோ ஆல்ரெடி பார்ட் ஒனில் சம் ஆஃப் த இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் டாபிக்ஸ் ஆர் கவர்டு ஸோ இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் ப்ளஸ் கெட் த லிங்க் ஃப்ரம் த டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் பாக்ஸ் வாங்க நண்பர்களே இன்றைக்கி வீடியோக்குள்ளே என்ன நம்ம போய் பார்க்கலாம் ஸோ ஆல்ரெடி நம்ம டூ யூனிட் இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் டாபிக்ஸ் தன் ஆல் த ஆஸ் பர் த சிலபஸ் டு டிஸ்கஸ் எலாபரேட்லி ஃப்ரம் த ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோஸ் ஸோ வேணுன்ற நண்பர்கள் டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷனில் இருக்குது இல்லை சேனல் லிங்கில் கூட போய் ப்ளேலிஸ்ட்டில் செக் பண்ணிங்கன்னா இருக்கும் ஸோ இன்றைக்கி நம்ம கிளாசிக்கல் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் பார்ட் டூ தான் பார்க்க போகிறோம் வாங்க ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஸோ இன்றைக்கி நம்ம என்னென்ன பார்க்க போகிறோன்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா தென் சிம்பிள் பெண்டலம் அண்ட் காம்பவுண்ட் பெண்டலம் ஸோ சிம்பிள் பெண்டலம் அண்ட் காம்பவுண்ட் பெண்டலம் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா கன்ஃபார்மாக ஒரு கொஷின் ப்ரீவியஸ் இயரில் கேட்டுக்கிட்டே இருக்காங்க ஸோ அது மோஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் தென் ஹேமல்டோனியன் ஃபங்க்ஷன் ஸோ அந்த நம்ம எப்படி லெக்ரேஞ்சியன் ஃபங்க்ஷன் பார்த்தோமோ ஸோ சிம்லர்லி ஃபார் ஹேமல்டோனியன் ஃபங்க்ஷன் ஆர் ஹேமல்டோனியன் ப்ரின்ஸிபல்னா என்ன அதெல்லாம் நம்ம டிஸ்கஸ் பண்ண போகிறோம் ஸோ சிம்லர்லி தென் ரெஜிலிட்டி பாடி அண்ட் மொமெண்டம் அண்ட் ப்ராடக்ட் ஆஃப் இனேஷியா அண்ட் ஐலஸ் ஆங்கிள் அண்ட் ஐலஸ் ஈக்குவேஷன் ஆஃப் மோஷன்ஸ் ஸோ தென் சிம்பிள் பெண்டலம் So the simple pendulum, this is the most important equation, then theta double dot is equal to minus g by l sin theta. So this is the equation gives the point mass from Lagrangian equation. So from this equation, then we have to put sin theta is equal to zero means we have to get then theta double dot is equal to minus g by l theta. So we have to get the solution of this equation then theta is equal to theta dot then sin then root g by ld plus pi here where theta naught is maximum angular amplitude and theta is the initial phases. So those two equations are most important. So then similarly compound pendulum. So the compound pendulum uh, for generalized coordinate theta is to write the equation like this then theta double dot plus mgh by l then sin theta is equal to zero from previous cases then uh, we have to take the uh, angular displacement then sin theta is equal to zero in this cases the amplitude of oscillation is small then sin theta is approximately equal to theta so we have to get this equation then theta double dot plus mgh by l then theta is equal to zero so then time period of simple harmonic motion we have to get t is equal to then 2l root of l by mgh so those two uh, those three equations are most important So then phase, phase, these are also most important. Uh, what is meant by a phase? Phase means uh, the degree of freedom it should be either 6n or 6n dimensional space is known as phase to phase. Sometimes it is called as the then tau space. A single particle in phase to phase is specified by the 6 coordinate. The 6 coordinate either 3 position coordinate or 3 momentum coordinate. So the 6 dimensional space is sometimes called as the mu space. So the tau space is superposition of mu space. So the space space in 6 dimensional space formed the some of the coordinates like q1, q2, then q3 and then similarly p1, p2, then similarly p3 and so in this way we have to write the phase to phase in six dimensional space according to the coordinate how to form in this way. So then Hamiltonian function so then Hamiltonian function how to define Hamiltonian function uh, before the cases then Lagrangian function L is equal to then T minus V in this cases then Hamiltonian H is equal to then T plus V this is the most important I keep it in mind so then Hamiltonian function is defined as then H is equal to then PK then QK dot minus L then Q comma Q dot T and H is equal to then Hamiltonian how to write then H is equal to H then Q comma Q dot T here Q is the generalized coordinate then q dot is the generalized velocity and t is the time so what are the 
uh, Hamiltonian equation, then QK dot, then PK, then minus dou L by dou T. Those three equations are most, uh, equation 1 and 2 are most important. Previous year, narrative time, get rigging. So, equation 1 and 2 are called Hamiltonian equation or Hamiltonian canonical equation of motion. So, if the given coordinate is cycle in Lagrangian means it also be a cyclic in Hamiltonian. This is the most important point. So, number LMA in the number discuss under the LMA mostly 90% of uh, points are uh, taken from the previous year question paper as per the syllabus. So, number LMA discuss under the buzzing you know, most 90% of uh, uh, key points uh, on the previous year question. Uh, so, we discuss the So, if you take uh, the coordinate, it should be a cyclic in Lagrangian, means it also be a cyclic in Hamiltonian. So, how to physical significance of Hamiltonian? Then, H equal to T plus V. Then, before the cases, Lagrangian, L equal to then T minus V. So in this case, H is equal to T plus V. So here, H is equal to the total energy of system. So the conservative system where the coordinate transformation is independent of time. So that is the important point for conservative system. The coordinate transformation is independent of time only. So the Hamiltonian function H represents the total energy of the system. So then Hamiltonian principle so the path actually transfers in a conservative holonomic dynamical system from time t1 and t2 over the integral of the Lagrangian between the limit t1 and t2 is a stationary that is the important keyword stationary. So how to represent Hamiltonian principle then integral x1 x2 to then Lagrangian dt is equal to then j is equal to x t x t may be either uh, positive or negative so where j is the extreme value of the time interval of the Lagrangian and it is known as the Hamiltonian principal function of path so uh, we have to write it as the equation number one uh, then uh, integral of time t1 and t2 l dt is equal to zero so actually the Hamiltonian principle help us to distinguish the actual path from the neighboring path that is the most important so then principle of least action so this is the most uh, important uh, point the time integral of twice the kinetic energy is called action so the principle of least action state that the variation of action along the actual path between the given integral is least that is called as the principle of least action so we have to define like this so from this equation we have to take it as a Hamiltonian h is remain constant means we have to write then t2 is equal to like this so after that we have to simplify those equation from this we have to get then del integral of t1 and t2 is equal to then summation of pk qk that is equal to 0 so then momentum and product of inertia uh, those equations are most important then how to define the omega vectors equal to the i omega n plus j omega y plus k omega z. Those equations are most important from angular velocity. Then how to define angular momentum? Then L is equal to the summation of m into ri into va. So this is the x component for angular momentum, y component, z component. Then similarly, then L is the angular momentum, then i is the momentum of inertia, then omega is the angular velocity. This is the most uh, important equation then L is equal to I omega where I represent as the angular momentum then I represent momentum of inertia and omega is angular velocity so sometimes x, x component get it we have to choose the correct one So the principal axis of inertia, what is meant by a principal of axis of inertia? The product of inertia of a body about the principal axis are zero. 
so these are all the important point for a continuous body if the continuous body the summation is replaced by volume integral so the particle mass became a mass density then we have to write like this so after that then a relation between angular momentum and kinetic energy we have to write then t is represented as a kinetic energy is equal to half uh, omega vector dot j that should be here t is the kinetic energy that should be a uh, angular velocity then j is called angular momentum omega is the angular velocity sorry so these are the most uh, important relationship uh, about angular momentum and kinetic energy so the nihilus equation of motion what is how to define the motion of a rigid body with one point fixed it will take place under the action of torque n in such a way so the total sorry the total angular momentum varies at rate equal to n then how to write then dou l by then dot is equal to n so we have to write it as a space equal to body plus angular velocity so in this way so these are all the most um, important guess asking, uh, asking repeatedly in the previous year then how to write uh, x coordinate then y then z so here i1 omega x dot minus i2 minus i3 is equal to omega y omega z so in this way we have to write the most important those three equations those things are so important so the nihilus equation of motion those uh, three equations uh, Uh, are called Euler's equation of motion of a rigid body with one point fixed. Uh, so please uh, subscribe to our channel for further update and also press the bell button for uh, quick updates. So upcoming videos we have to discuss uh, uh, notes related about the classical uh, mechanics. then after that we have to move on to the problems of unit 2 then probability and uh, theory of errors so please follow our channel for further updates so thank you friends meet in the next video nandri nanbarile vanakkam